item store. Well, we've got a little bit of money, just 1.7 million yen. What do you sell? <laughs> hmm. Full HP restore. Well, only one ally. I mean, like, we can just spam healing spells. I'm just saying. Chewing souls. Yeah, sure. That's just, uh... Give me all of those. <laughs> Infinite SP acquired. Um, revival beads. Other people should be able to revive too, right? Let, let's just, like, 30 of those is probably fine, right? Um, oh, with full HP, that would have been even better. Oh, well, you know, we already have 15, that's fine. Um, words off weak foes, emergency exit, whatever. That's one of those. Save some money in case we find a shop that actually sells equipment, right? All right, and we're off. Let's go to the second floor. We are in Deva Yuga, it says at the top of the screen. All right, so we're, we don't even have to walk to this Deva Yuga place, we are in it. Is this the final dungeon? This can't be the final dungeon, right? I mean, we're coming up on Kandori, but I feel like Kandori isn't necessarily the final boss. Kandori might be this game's, um, what did we play last night? My brain is just... Uh, High Priest Hargon, right? Yeah, but Malroth is the final boss, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Generally in most JRPGs, it seems like you always get to the end, and then... But actually, the final boss is this guy, you know? Sometimes it's just a phase change, where they change form, but sometimes it's like just completely out of left field, this other bad guy is the real bad guy, you know? You beat that guy, but here's the final boss. <laughs> All right, you want to talk to me? What are we going to talk about? Gloomy and haughty. Gloomy, we do... Sarcasm. Come on, man. Why is this not working? Why do I just keep making you angry? It used to work. All right, haughty. Uh, my gloomy, my gloomy isn't working. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong about gloomy and sarcasm. It seemed to work the other times. But then they always have multiple traits. Maybe I've been picking up on the wrong trait. Um, Hottie, we did the stare, right? Let's try the stare. Stare's still working. We'll go with the stare. Sweet. Spell card me. Item. Is it physical attacks? Actually, nuclear to all. Megidola is nuclear, huh? I don't think. We'll do that once they get rid of the girls. Physical attack. Fist of Fury on that guy. We'll use our gun. And we'll do drum roll punch. Yeah, SMT, it's God and then Super God, right? Right, that's about right. You always got to end up somehow fighting Yahweh, right? <laughs> so in this one, I guess, like, Kandori thinks he's become a God. Although really, he sounds like a mirror. Like, like he himself doesn't have the power, does he? Or maybe he's given himself the power, I don't know. But, um... I don't know. He just doesn't seem quite on the level of SMT final boss, right? He seems more like mid, like near the end kind of boss. I don't know. There, there's going to be more to him. I'm pretty sure. So much nuclear damage going on here. Boom! And that hits hard. Level up. What level is that? 45. Yeah. Progress. Okay. 
Look at these guys. They're like cyborg men in black or something. What, what is this? Let me. What are their names? They are men in black. Oh, dude, I called that. It might be. Nice. Awesome. Let's just try and nuke them. Right, it works. Ooh, look at that XP. Men in Black are worth some XP. Makes me wonder if they have some kind of attack they didn't use. Let's do it again. Give me that XP. Give it to me. <laughs> I mean, I guess this could be the final dungeon. The whole Deva Yuga thing, definitely, that sounds like a final dungeon, right? Like this big temple that's been summoned up into the middle of the town. That, that, that's got to have time. Like, what, what other place have we seen that would be a final dungeon, I guess? Like, this is the most epic of places that we've seen in the game so far. So may, maybe this is the final dungeon, but I just, I don't know. You can never trust a Shin Megami Tensei game to actually be ending the game. Like, if you ever played, like, like play, like, Persona 4, and the game's constantly like, well, I guess you solved the mystery, it's all over. What, what, what do you mean you're not sure? Oh, you want to keep investigating? You don't think he was the killer? You think there's more to... Fine, fine, here's another dungeon. <laughs> They're just like, okay, fine, you can keep playing. I guess there's another ending, just go. I feel that way about Dragon Quest sometimes too. Like Dragon Quest, you'll get to the end of a Dragon Quest game and beat the boss and then it's like, okay, cool, but um, you mind if the story just keeps going? Hey, have you heard about this demon lord? Yeah, he's totally bad too, you should take care of him. Yeah, I, I know, I know, you beat the bad guy, but um, this guy's gonna kill God, so you should totally stop him. Yeah, yeah, be, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm still going. Story ain't over, man. <laughs> just, just, it just keeps going. Oh, Incubus? It looks like Incubus to me. I'd recognize that horn anywhere. Alright, so I'm guessing physical, probably. Yep. I'm putting everybody to sleep. It's a little annoying. 5,000 XP. I take it all back. You're not annoying at all. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did that have a different picture on the wall? Oh, they're weak to that. That's beautiful. 5,000 XP again. I'm loving this dungeon. This could be the last dungeon. Yeah, look, it's, it's different. Why does that one have a, like, none, all the other walls are the same. But this one looks like it has writing on it or something. I can't do anything. I can bump into it, I can hit X, something happens. It's just different. I thought I was going to be like activating a switch or something or reading it. Is it just because it's the dead end? Do all the dead ends have that picture? Like all the other walls are the same. Mm. I do have a little bit of OCD filling out the map. Partially it's OCD, partially it's just um, I like that if I'm later in the dungeon I can look at the map and go, okay, I've already been over there. Like, like I can come up here and go, okay, those walls are all solid. I've been up there. I don't need it. Like if, if I didn't go all the way to the end, it doesn't draw in the map unless you actually step on the tile. So I wouldn't be able to tell if I'd explored up there or not. So it helps me find my way around when I go to the map screen. So I find that pretty important. 
Like, like, say I didn't hit that last tile there, right? And I leave here. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, okay, let's back this up. Let's, um... We'll do one round of this. It's it's only going to kill the other two guys. And then heal all of them, but that's okay. And then we'll me melee them down. If we're awake and not charmed, actually, come to think of it. Oof. At least we slept and charmed all of them, too. That works out. I love that we reflect their statuses back. It's beautiful. Alright, so let me show you the reason why I always step on all the maps. So if I look at the map right here, I can see it just fine. But that's because I'm inside of this box, right? When you're inside the box, you can see everything you can see on the mini-map. But if I move far enough away that that's outside the box, now if I look over there, in this case it's kind of obvious because it's pointing towards like there's no space there. But if you look, it's just like an edge and you can tell the path goes on there. Like if it wasn't one that wrapped back in on itself like that, it wouldn't be super obvious that I hadn't been there already, you know? So that's why I always step on all the spaces. Okay. Let's do this this way. We're going to Megidala. We're going to heal everyone to full. And we're going to attack. We're going to shoot. And we're going to drum roll punch. And then we're going to automatically just use weapons. We could do stronger attacks if I did some of my skills, but this will be fine. I say as my party starts dropping. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Pay no attention to the main character almost dying. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> I see, like... I leveled up. All fine. Um, Alright, we need to get back to the elevator. Dog meme couldn't be more relevant. Yeah, <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. The room may have been on fire, but I survived it. Let's just move on. <laughs> All right, uh, floor three. One round of auto, and then we'll melee down the incubi. Thankfully, the incubi just seem to mostly do status effects, so they're not that threatening. Especially since I'm reflecting them back on them. Blindness, that sucks. Didn't seem to affect him much, though.
Ow. <laughs> Etrian Odyssey, there isn't a prize for stepping every tile. Isn't there a prize for stepping on a tile library? I don't know. I, I've barely scratched the surface of an Etrian, Etrian Odyssey game, so I, I don't I don't know that much about things like that. I've played like maybe three hours of one of them. I think you get rewarded for like trying to complete the map, right? I would assume, maybe. 6,000 XP, that's beautiful. This does remind me a bit of Etrian Odyssey. Or more specific, I guess, probably what Persona Q would be right, like, right? Is this the Persona Etrian Odyssey game? I don't actually own Persona Q or Persona Q2, but I guess at some point I'll have to pick them up for this Shin Megami Tensei playthrough thing. Slow your roll, guys. What if I put these guys on auto act? What does that do? Oh, I can set their individual auto skill. Wait, what? Bone Crusher. Okay, we were in serious trouble here. <laughs> but we're having big issues. Big, big issues. Can we escape? <laughs> I, I am not taking these guys seriously enough, clearly. Do, do we have Recarm on any of her personas? items for this. Actually, you know, you should heal. And you can bring someone back with an item. I know we have items for this somewhere. Here we go. Revival bead, balm of life. Survival bead, probably fine. Let's bring back the main character. Would have been better if you revived him before you healed, but that's okay. Oh, and kill him immediately. Yeah, sure. 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 This is fine. I'm gonna die. This is a good way to end the night out. Alright, you know what? Let's bomb of life. Whatever. We can buy more of them. Okay. You need to switch persona. Or do we? This one has it, doesn't it? No? Which persona had that? It wasn't her. It was this one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Switch to that one. And stay alive. They want to run away? That's handy. 
I could have just tried talking to them. Maybe that might have that might have worked better. There we go. So that was rough. That was a little rough. It's a bit on the rough side of things. Could have gone better. You know. <laughs> those guys, those guys are a bit of an annoyance to me <laughs> for my current setup. Um, let's switch my persona back. I mean, I guess that is my highest level persona. What's his ultimate ability? Fire Breath. The thing is, like, this one has that, which is just amazing. So, we'll switch back to that. And you guys are all at rank 7, about to max out yours. That's cool. Alright, so I guess we're going up these stairs. There was another way to go way back there. But we're just gonna take the stairs. Okay. Everything's fine. That didn't happen. You didn't see anything. We're back to just annihilating them with one spell, right? Who are these guys here? Scylla? It's a little weird, man. Boom! <laughs> Snap my fingers, get 6,000 XP. Like, the fact that that spell is just taking them all out is giving so much XP to just the main character. <laughs> because the XP is based... Oh, so it's just dead ends have that different picture. That's annoying. Um, Yeah, here too. Okay. Because the XP is based on, like, your contribution to the fight, I guess. So he just, like, snaps his fingers and everything dies and he gets all the XP. <laughs> 6,000 for him. Five, everybody else gets 500. So he is just, like, power leveling here. Which isn't really a bad thing for me. Do we just get... Ah, oh, back attack. You know, honestly, that's probably okay. I mean, I'd rather she not be in the front, but whatever. I can snap my fingers from back here, too. Dead. <laughs> He's getting such a big XP lead. And like this, oh, the stronger he gets, the easier it becomes for him to dominate the the fights too. So the question is, is this the last boss? I mean the last dungeon. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna assume no. I am assuming no. So we're we're coming up on the end of the night tonight. If the, if I thought this was the last dungeon, I'd be like, okay, we're this close to the end, let's just push on. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. Yeah, Persona Q is is on my Shin Megami Tensei list. Provisionally, it is. I mean, 
I wasn't like I, I I've taken a look at that game before and I wasn't like super impressed with it, but you know, we're playing all the Shin Megami games, so yeah, it's on the list. We'll get through it. Fingers, kill them all, take all the XP. The save point. What perfect timing. It's about one o'clock. I think we're going to call it here for the night. Thanks for watching. And thanks for chatting, Echo. I know you, I know you like to lurk, but it's nice to have someone to talk to. It helps a lot. But I don't just sit here quietly. Sometimes I, I'm not super good at just talking to myself, which really you should do, right? As a streamer and a person who puts videos on YouTube, you should just sit here and talk because someone's going to watch it later and they're not going to want to just listen to nothing, right? But it's so much easier when you have someone to talk to. So thanks, Echo. You helped. And anyways, that's it for tonight. I'm going to be back on here tomorrow. Um... Starting Dragon Quest 3. Um, I'm still working out the schedule for for how we're going to do um, Xenoblade. I mean, maybe the best thing to do... We're definitely playing Xenoblade on Friday. So Final Fantasy is getting pushed on Friday. But um, maybe the best thing to do would be like Xenoblade Friday, Monday, Wednesday or something. And like still fit... Shin Megami and um still fit Shin Megami and uh, uh Dragon Quest in there you know I'll, I'll figure it out but for now Dragon Quest Dragon Quest 3 starts tomorrow and Xenoblade Chronicles starts Friday so come by for that I'll be here same time same place and if you miss anything you can catch it on YouTube like, comment, subscribe, follow, and all that other random jazz. Verbs. <laughs> Good night. See you next time. <laughs>